that, there's so much more you can do in coverage. And when Karan Williams is playing the way he's playing tonight, when they just rush three or four, then that's a luxury every defensive coordinator loves. Last week, second down conversions, Hamilton 0 for 10 against BC. And today, Rough Riders 1 for 12 as they should convert here on that rush. Uh, and, but, but Wes Cates had to work for it. Yes, he did. Because he had to work for it through number nine's arms because he is he is flying around. Karan Williams is, is having himself a game. And, and Wes Cates gets his first down, but he earns every inch. Hard hit there. Then he twists and turns and pushes him down. Look at the scars. That helmet was completely clean for Karan Williams when he showed up here in Regina tonight. Earning the free agent of money today. Durant, Prosser, Gary Coke. And Coke lunging over midfield and has close to nine. Look at who's in on the tackle. Karan Williams downfield. Well, he was, and it's tremendous hustle because Karan Williams is not going to deliberately not going to go after Durant here. He's just going to try and read this screen and hold it out. Watch him off the end here while he's working on Joel Bell. He's waiting. Now he hustles underneath on the line of scrimmage, and guess who's there to help out with the tackle? Number nine. Second in the yard. And Cates has the first down. It's tossed down by Jonathan Brown. He started out on fire. I believe it was the first series, and Darian Durant said hello to Karan Williams. You can rush three and four. The quarterback's going to hold the ball a split second because the rest of the players on defense are dropped in coverage. Karan Williams has only needed a split second. First down, Saskatchewan. They fake the pitch. And Durant, and that one is... Is it intercepted? Tag is down on the play. And what's the ruling over there? The line who came up with the football looks like it's going to be a penalty against BC in any event. Dante Marsh slow to get up, and another line was shaken up at the BC bench. I, I think the question is whether or not Dante Marsh got to Weston Dressler, who was the intended receiver a little before the ball did. Pass interference, BC number 31. Automatic first down. He's gonna end up picking up Dressler number seven as he drops his man and then jumps up. Now he makes contact there as the ball is arriving and is a split second early. That's the penalty drawn there. Now, I'm not sure if his teammate, Anton McKenzie, intercepted or not, but it doesn't matter due to the penalty. Didn't matter. McKenzie shaking up on the play. It is a first down, and Durant, first time today, takes off and does some damage. Oh, gets cut down. Dante Marsh does his own damage. Wow. And Durant confidently signals first down. I, I really believe that's the type of play that will settle Darian Durant down, even after taking a big hit from Dante Martin. He'll pick his times, but when he runs like this, this team has success. Now, he'll take a big hit. It's playoff time. Well, for Durant, who led all quarterbacks in rushing yards this year. Cates straight ahead, big jump, down to the 20. Led the Canadian Football League in rushing yards for quarterback ahead of Henry Burr, Stephen Giles in Winnipeg, and Travis Lule in a lot less playing time than any of the three above him. Both quarterbacks in this game tonight, great running quarterback. We hadn't seen a lot of it from Darian Durant, but all of a sudden, a little combination of Wes Cates and him running, and they've got some traction. They play of the drive, it's second and two. Back to Cates, and they get drilled back by Anton McKenzie. Is that enough for the first down?
Blake will get a measurement. Under five minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Ken Miller told everybody watching what they needed to do in this second half. Establish the running game to settle down their quarterback a little bit, get him in manageable situations. Close enough, I think Ken Miller will go ahead and go for it here. This is away. They've got Wes Cage going in this drive. Got themselves in second and short yardage for the most part in this drive. And then that Darian Durant run. 24 yards rushing in this half alone for West Cakes. The third and inches behind Jeremy O'Day, the all-star center of the West. That will move the teams. Doug Berry and Ken Miller, the offensive coordinator, Doug Berry and his head coach, Ken Miller. Clearly their conversation at halftime was to settle down their quarterback, who, who is still young experience-wise. 40 starts for him as a pro, a couple in the playoffs, one in the Grey Cup. He's still young experience-wise. To settle him down, they wanted to establish the run. They've done that in the second half. They're doing that in this drive. Third trip to the red zone. They are 0 for 2, two field goals, but no touchdowns. They have the best touchdown percentage in this area during the season. And there's another Karan Williams tackle on Wes Gates. Really been a tale of two teams here when you think about their red zone production. Saskatchewan quite a bit better during the regular season coming into this game in the playoffs when they get inside the 20 yard line. You can see they both had the same attempts in the regular season inside the 20, but very different in their results as far as touchdown goes. And as far as I'm concerned, touchdowns are success. If you're settling for field goals when you're inside the 20, that's a win for the defense. So they were at 64 percent touchdowns during the regular season. They need a big conversion here. He's got some time. Anybody open? It's for Cage. Big play. Russ Cage taken out inside the 10, and this will be close to a first down. Well, Chris, it just seems to me that it, for Darian Durant throughout his two years, once he starts to move around and run, he gets into a comfort zone and and where he was really struggling in the accuracy department in the first half, you can't get more accurate than that throw over the shoulder of James Yurichuk into the hands of his running back. Well, play of the drive upcoming in Saskatchewan's first and goal at the BC6. Chris Sarka, the Port Coquitlam native in at fullback now. Riders go two back. Take the Zarka, the toss, Keats, beautifully defended. Really was. Solomon Elamimian with the initial contact, Adam Leonard cleaned up. But he wasn't the only one. Anton McKenzie's got a responsibility on this as well. He's got what's called zap technique. So Anton McKenzie is going to slide over here and take quarterback, and then he's going to let allow Elamimian take the pitch man. Watch number 42 go to Darian Duran. He slides outside, he takes quarterback right there. Pitch goes out, now the other linebacker's got responsibility for the running back, well defended. Under two minutes remaining, here in the third quarter, and it's second and goal from the four. Six receivers out, short to Fistler, touchdown! set the pick for Dresser to cut underneath it and he is wide open. A 12 play drive, 75 yards, and the Rough Riders get back in it. 86 seconds left, third quarter. The semifinal versus BC at five for 93 in that one. Eddie Johnson hoofs it downfield and Giannis Davis from his nine. 
And good cover, Nick Graham. What's the stop to Giannis Davis? Lion football when we come back. Let's show you that Weston Dressler touchdown. They're going to work off the rub here of West Cakes and have Dressler underneath. Now down on the goal line, defensive backs are going to tell the linebackers, you got to switch it. Solomon Elamimian gets locked up on his man on, on Cates, and he does not pick up. Watch here, Ryan Phillips talking to his linebacker, saying, we've got to switch this. You take the inside guy, I'll take the outside guy. Elamimian gets locked up there. Weston Dressler works off the pick. Touchdown, Saskatchewan. No way Ryan Phillips could get there. Weston Dressler's energized mosaic. Travis Lulay passed a big test on the last Lions series when he moved the football downfield from the BC6. Let's see how he responds after the rough rider touchdown. Hands it off Robertson. Nothing off the right side. When Hawkins in on the tackle as Robertson falls ahead for a couple. Both teams going to their running games. And now BC will be forced into a passing situation because of good first down defense by Saskatchewan there. Jock Chapelang, the offensive coordinator, has now got to put his quarterback. He's got him on the run up late. Let's see if he throws from the pocket here. Lulay on the run and throws it incomplete. He wanted Robertson. He would have been close to the first down, but a two and out when the Rough Riders are trying to maintain the momentum they built off that last offensive drive. Well, that was close to first down territory for Jamal Robertson, who it looked like the ball was in the place it had to be. Mike McCullough in chase. I don't know if you can throw it any close, any any better. Like Robertson was trying to make sure his feet were in the right spot, but the hands weren't. And neither there is Christ Mullen. Dropped it. It's enveloped by Anthony Reddick. So can Gary Durant keep this momentum shift alive? Come on. With a player two left Let's in this go. third quarter. Now that they've established the run, Chris, it, it opens the door up for play action offensively. Now you've got those linebackers thinking about West Cates. Starting at their 49, six receivers out. And Durant has Coke. Terry Coke. Down to the 32. Final play of the third quarter. It sets up a big fourth. And was it. To me, Chris, that's been the difference. When they got Wes Cates involved and Darian Durant runs the football himself, they're a better offense. Still, the numbers aren't Durant-like or Saskatchewan-like, but uh, suddenly their predicament isn't as serious already in scoring position to start this fourth quarter. Well, it's opened up the passing game all of a sudden now when they've able to go play action and the Saskatchewan de or BC defense, excuse me, have to look at West Cates and concentrate on him. That poke catch brings it down to the... 32-yard line, 29 for Kerry Coke, and a Rough Rider first down. The quarterback draw is not going to work. Karan Williams tosses Durant down again. Well, not surprised they called it, but the one-man wrecking crew for BC's defense comes up big for them and puts now Darian Durant in a second and long situation. And Karan Williams again. Let's take a look. BC three-man pressure. And that's the type of defensive front that you want to go ahead and try and run that play. In other words, a perfect call for the defense that they're facing. The only intangible that you can't count on is a great individual effort. And that's what the Lions Karan Williams gave you. Five sacks, regular season, four today. Second and 13. Catch is made by Claremont. 
broke a tackle and has a first down at the 16-yard line. The Pebble Lion, a two-time top Canadian. Jason Claymont moves the chains. Gary Coke is coming across the middle deeper and trying to create some space. Here's Coke coming across the field this way, and then you're going to see Claremont coming underneath that. He's going to create some space for Jason Claremont underneath by forcing Ryan Phillips to bubble outside. That allows Claremont to turn his shoulders upfield and make that move to get a key first down. Remarkably, still no catches for Bantuz or Getzlaff here in this game. Back into the hands of Gates and Brent Johnson. Pulls him down, Brent, uh, Western All-Star once again, and the Lion all-time quarterback sack leader. Ten games as a full-time starter for Brent Johnson, and was supposed to be a rotating defensive lineman this year, but due to all the injuries, he forced into action full-time. Ron Williams. Well, that front four has come together with Aaron Hunt returning. Williams a monster game. Jonathan Brown's been active. Brent Johnson on that last tackle. Second and nine. Durant to the goal line. And Ryan Phillips oh almost boy. had another. He can't believe it either. In case you're just tuning in, we mentioned this earlier, but Ryan Phillips, 13 interceptions in 17 games versus Saskatchewan in his career. 13 of his 27. Eight versus Darian Durant in the last couple. It's a